Good morning. Good morning. He just got to lick the empty cream cheese tub. And he's very happy. I am wearing office pants today. I'm about to go change them. They're very, very comfy. But I don't want them all hairy because they're probably like dry clean. So I'm gonna go change. But yeah, I was in the office today. They're like, oh, not you again. <laughs> Volunteer of the year. But no, there was literally nobody. Two people sick. One person at the dentist and one person substituting, so. It was me, but it was all good. They know I love it. Actually, my favorite custodian came in after just seeing me yesterday at lunch. He's like, you're always here? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, you know what? If I could, I would always be at my kid's school too because it goes too fast. And then they're in middle school and high school and don't want you there. And I'm like, yes, you get it, you get it. But, oh, my lips are so dry. It's so cold that I felt really bad making Jack's walk to school. Uh, it is, what, it was 28, so that's maybe like minus two or three, I don't know, negative Celsius. So cold. I parked more than halfway there, like, I say halfway there, but, it's closer than, to the school than it is to home. I, I parked in the shopping center and there's just a big crosswalk and then you're right in the area of the school because even though it was so cold, it was insanely busy in the car line. There, I wouldn't, if it was yesterday, I wouldn't have been able to cross the street into the car line. I'd be stuck there forever. There were cars in all directions waiting. So I was like, I'm parking here, but because I didn't want Jax to walk in it. As he walked out the door, I messaged him. I was like, hey, if you wanna walk over to the shopping center, I can meet you at my car and drive you to school. And this is like 10 minutes before the shift ends, but it was quiet. I was like, do you mind if I leave 10 minutes early so I can drive my meals? And they're like, go, 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 because I've done a lot this week. But yeah, so I felt a lot of relief being able to drive him because it's just so cold. And yeah, the one of the lunch attendants is out the rest of the week. But I said, yeah, don't worry. I wasn't gonna volunteer for today anyway because she's like, don't you dare answer. I did say if they need somebody Friday, I wouldn't mind that one because I'd have a day. I'm about to go get work done, all the school emails and stuff. But yeah, that's my update. Oh, I'll let you see this. I went to Lidl because there's a couple things I forgot and we need a birthday present for a party on Saturday. I got a little stuffed Litten Pokemon and a Pokemon pack for the little boy. But I definitely got something for me and I'm just gonna hide it in my closet and put it in my own stocking on Christmas because my stocking is usually pretty empty. Oops. The fan is blasting and it just, it's blowing away the bag. That's how windy it is in here, why I keep looking up. Him and Q, I love him so much. I already want to snuggle him, but yeah, I'm gonna hide him up in my closet. Hide him from myself, hide him from Sebastian. Look, see, I have Mimikyu on display in my closet. He's the best. Look at him. All right, Merry Christmas to me. First Christmas purchase is for myself. <laughs> All right, I'm off to go eat my hazelnut croissant and do some work.
Hello everyone. It is pretty late. It's almost 10 and I still have to fold a big load of laundry. I just got Sebastian to sleep. <sighs> but yeah, today was an office day as you heard. Ran that errand. <clears throat> I sent off work emails, but I didn't get clarification back on all these pages I need to start for the dog rescue, so I worked on the family calendar instead. I had to lay down around 12 because my period just ended and the anemia has kicked in. I just very, it's like a tiredness I can't really describe unless you've had it anymore. But that helped a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, I got up a late lunch. Got Sebastian from the bus stop. He saw what I got for his friend's birthday and decided he wanted to spend his money in choosing a Pokemon study. But he needed three dollars, so we had to clean where he got pee all over the dumpster bathroom. <laughs> and I had to teach him how and help him. And then we went out and got that and had a drink at Starbucks. Alright earned a free one, so I ordered one for Jax and brought that home to him. He had just gotten home from school. And he went over to a friend's house with his computer and Sebastian went to the playground with his friend. And then his friend shows up. I came to the door confused. He was like eating a granola bar and he's supposed to be the one he was with at the playground. But he comes and tells me that Sebastian got hurt and asked for me to come, but his, he can't move and it's hard to breathe. I'm like, oh, great. He took his bike there. And yeah, I just got my keys and phone and got in the car and drove to him. Just a minute drive as opposed to like a seven minute walk. Does he have his bike? So I guess he was on the seesaw with his friend, and his friend jumped off, so he went bam and slammed down. It didn't knock him off, but he hit his tailbone so hard on that metal seat that it knocked the wind out of him, and his back is hurting. There, I guess he didn't cry loud enough because there were tons of moms on the other side of the playground. I don't know. I would have. Um, if I heard a commotion, but I guess I didn't make a commotion. But I put his bike in my car and drove him home. He seemed okay. I didn't see any marks on him, and he was able to move on his own, and the breathing was getting better. So we just set him up on the couch and had him relax, drink some water, and chill while I made dinner. Made some pasta as you saw. I'm not the best cook, I don't have any techniques. I learned a little bit before the pandemic we were doing meal kits. We did this for a while. I don't know, maybe a year. It's a little hard because the kids didn't want any of that. Sebastian was a toddler at the time, so sometimes you try some of the things. Jax had no interest, so I always had to cook the meal kit plus something for the kids, which was obnoxious. We ended up having to stop at the pandemic because everybody started signing up and everything would be out of stock and I have a limited diet so it just didn't work out anymore. But I did learn a lot of cooking techniques so I can at least throw together things. I'm not afraid to cook before it was just like I'm the baker not the cook. So yeah I made dinner, had a lovely bath full bubble bath strength this time instead of just a touch and no problems we back in business and I left the tub full so that Sebastian could soak his back and I think that really helped because he had no complaints between getting out of the bath and getting into bed so that's good I think he is going to be very sore tomorrow but he does not have pee so it should be okay yeah, I started laundry before he got in the tub, and I got that put in the dryer after he got out. 
And so now I also started another load for Jess. So I need to go hold a very large load and get Jax's clothes in the dryer before I can get ready for bed. And I usually do get myself ready at 10. It's 10 of 3 now, so it's probably gonna be a little later. No worries. I'm just gonna pop this clip into the video and have it exporting while I fold, and then when it's done, I will pause and then start it uploading and continue folding. And then get myself to bed. Tomorrow, oh, I don't know if I said anything about this. Yeah, when I woke up from my nap, I had a email come through from the office. I guess they're really struggling to find people to cover, cover last minute shifts, except for me, at the lunch. Uh, I don't even know if they got anybody to come in today, and she's going to be out tomorrow. I think I'm kind of on call for tomorrow, I said, just let me know by 9, so I don't know. But a while back, she had given me a list of like 12 dates that one of the ladies knows she will be out. She has a daughter who's been pretty good cheer, so she knew these dates in advance. It was mostly one to two days per month. I think April had like four days, but it's starting in December. I took one day from each of the months, but two in April. And so she wrote to me today, she's like, can I have two of these dates back? What, the, April, the later April one and your February, because I want to make a sign up to send out to the little group who offered to volunteer to see if I can get people to sign up well in advance and then just take a few back from me so that I have you on hold for the last minute things. Of course I'd rather know in advance but I do have that flexible freelancing schedule so I was like I get it. I did choose one per month because I didn't miss the kids if it's longer than that, but I get it, I get it. And so I let her have those dates and she sent that out. I'm curious to see if anybody signed up yet. It is like, they're far in advance. The one I have was the very first one and it was December 4th. So I think the first one she has on there is like December 17th or something. A whole bunch, I think there's a bunch in December all around holidays. I didn't want to pick ones like way before the holidays. Some of the ones I picked purposefully and I only really did purposefully so I could end up doing those last minute but no. That was my last little thing I wanted to add. Just to let you know that I don't know what my day is going to be like tomorrow. But I know Saturday I have to go to a party and it's going to have a million billion kids at a crowded place. I don't like crowded places around here because they have these intense, like, trying to recruit you and then you're locked into these contracts. I talked to one guy once. You can't get out of it unless you, like, sell it to somebody else and they take over your, it's like a mortgage. It's ridiculous. I, mean, I don't want to be pressured into anything. Plus, there's going to be a ton of people, but Danny is busy, so... I might mask up. We'll see. We'll see how big the space is. I'm not looking forward to it. So many people. So it can be like 15 to 20 kids and they each have one to two parents with them. So. Hopefully short. I think it's only two hours. But yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. Good night. Good night. Stay safe. Be kind. And don't forget.